You know what I'm saying? He man, right. he got a lot of heart. He got a lot of heart. He got a lot of, and he got um, um, truth resistance. His truth resistance. Right. His <laughs> truth resistance was up. Yeah, y'all yeah, said punch resistance yesterday. His truth, truth resistance was up because he resisted the truth at an all time. That's high a good one. Truth that resistance that never been done in the history of boxing. Probably he is the most go against any and everything we say. Yeah, no man, without even trying to prove it, he just whatever we could show him, he'll still say, "Nope, I I don't agree with that picture. It's he, blurry." Or you photoshopped it. I believe that comes from being indoctrinated. Uh might be from <laughs> <laughs> for real. Like he um school school will do that to you. Well, right. Well, you, you right. Just, indoctrinate you, just you. Program to to is is like gotta be some type of thing that's in their brain to automatically the gloves bogus. Wow, they're not bogus. He on steroids. He's not on steroids. He look like he took steroids. He don't look like he took steroids. He's squeezing the glove. It's legal. It's like no matter what you say, he is not going to believe that, anything. That, that's why it's good to be around people who don't always agree with you. And then you have to show them facts and truth. D35 is always, he must be around people who don't disagree with him. <laughs> it's possible. So, Cause he said, oh, he or said, he's I'm, just I'm continuously in. disagreeing, either or. He said he intimidated. Me. He said he very into. I'm six two, six three, two hundred forty pounds or something. I'm intimidating in real life. That's probably what it is. He intimidate people, and he 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 don't be challenged. He intimidate people who would get easily in intimidate. Yeah, yeah. Mm, it's, mm, like, mm. it's like they don't they don't they don't challenge it. Uh, 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 put up a strong argument to him. right. With them or something, I don't and, know. And it's that other thing when people say, "Hey, man, you know, I never seen that. You got them still. You got them still pictures. We want to see the video. I didn't see that when the fight was going on. That's why you yeah. take still pictures to slow down the action, so you can see what was going on that our eyes didn't see during the fight. That's just a <laughs> Hey, That's this nigga say them video, them, them pictures ain't in four K. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Low resolution. Oh, man, so what? <laughs> hey man, that dude is something else, man. Man. Hey, but he he's he's staying on it. Oh, hold on one second. Take over the chat. The, uh, All chat. right. Yeah. You know, too said people be like, that how you know that's a legit picture? How do you well when we seen the fight, we couldn't we didn't see all these things. But when people slow it down, take pictures, now we can see and go back and watch the fight and say, oh, there he is right there. Oh, yep, he did it right there. Ooh, there go that elbow. Yep, mm-hmm, missed that. Mm. So that's why it's good to have still pictures because, like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. You don't have to say nothing once you show the visual evidence. So... Yeah, uh, if you had the video, they'd be like, I need to see a picture. Right. <laughs> exactly. They'll flip it on you. Yeah. Then when you show a picture, I need to though. see the video. Then when you show the video, I need to see a picture. Which one is? <laughs> Man, this mm -hmm. next fight going to mm -hmm. be interesting. This next fight going to be interesting. It's such a polarizing topic. Like, we're still, uh -huh. literally still, still talking about it. Yeah. Yeah, but my God! Do you know when the when the uh, Benavidez fight is? Uh, I think that's I think that's in a couple of weeks, ain't it? It's three weeks away. I'm trying to figure out the date. Uh, it is. Yeah, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Woo! I think that's gonna be a. That's gonna be a who? Who? I think hey, Maul's hey. gonna put a beating on this boy. That's on the same fight with uh with uh with, with uh, Andrade and um okay and, and, and David they the undercard under, right they the under undercard that. they right up they they the fight before the big fight yeah so mm. them them gonna be good um um David go see his big brother get beat up and it might give him a little little fire to be like I gotta kill this nigga right here can't let these niggas win two in a row straight up. 
that's what I'm kind of thinking. That he go, he go out to just go ahead and just and try to take him out completely, you know. But Andre, yeah, I, I hope, I hope he win, man. I hope he win. Me just knowing boxing and this and that, they gonna let Benavidez win. Y'all heard it here first. Course. They're gonna Y'all be so you. So you got him over Andrade. I no, no. I got Andrade over him. This is what I'm saying. I'm picking Andrade to win, but I right. know they're going to. David Benavidez is going to win. Mm. Oh that man, I sense. think I think David Benavidez is still young enough to take a loss and stay in the game, stay top and one of the top fighters. So I, I don't know. I, I want Andre to win, but just never know. I hope he do because Andre he be throwing, he just throw he throw punches from angles like mm-hmm. like it's kind of like bow he just hits mm-hmm. you like and he nowhere moves. and he's a yeah. mover yeah that's why I'm like man I hope, I hope he win man but you know the powers that be even uh uh what's his name uh Steven Espinosa whatever man um when I'm hearing the interviews when they talk and see they be giving away the fights they're mm-hmm. right there mm-hmm. they already they already said that Canelo will fight um on Benavidez. They want to fight Benavidez, and that's the next fight. Because they know Canelo ain't going to get in the ring with Andrade. He not? You don't think so? Uh-uh. He, uh, man, he's been afraid of... Listen, they had a chance to fight for Undisputed at 160. Canelo ducked him and went to uh, 168, ran. Yeah. Damn. Canelo ducked for Undisputed. Undisputed. And he said he wanted to be the undisputed champion 160. Well, he had his opportunity and he ran from it. Yeah, and then he ran crazy. from and he ran from Charlo too as it's mandatory and took the um the witness protection belt. Mm. The yeah. dude is a fraud, man. He's just a high paid fraud. He's a fraud. He says he's a fraud. If he says he's a fraud, I believe he's a fraud. Yeah, man, fraud. That's, uh, that's crazy. Um, Canelo, Canelo, he's he's been he's been serving duck sauce for a minute. Oh man, since shoot, for six seven years now, mm-hmm. he shouldn't have got to fight with Floyd. That was all hype media. Media set all that up to, to pass the torch on to him, but he's not yeah. he's not the type of fighter Floyd was. Never will be. Nope, never. He took a little bit of Floyd little stuff, just a little bit, but mm-hmm. to make to make him affect the way he really about to get down and get down and get down. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then Oscar messed that up, scamming the boy on the on the back end for money. And when Canelo caught wind of it, he was like, "I want to get away from this dude." Yep, Oscar is the grouch. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Canelo was manufactured. He was. He was, he was, uh, what's the word? You got developed and you got, uh, uh, created or whatever. But Canelo was manufactured. He wasn't, he wasn't, uh, built up. Take over the chat for a second. All right. Uh, yeah. Like Spence was built. You know, he was built. He was ready. He was, he was going through tough fights to get to the next level. Yeah. Manufactured. That's right. Yeah, he was definitely built. And I mean, I wouldn't have no issue with what Canelo was doing if he wasn't holding belts. That's that's the problem. Like, if you want to go fight for money and do all that, just drop the belt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to look for that, you got, you got. Yeah, yeah, Canelo was definitely manufactured. He was a manufactured fighter. He wasn't built. He wasn't built at all. He was already pre-planned for the, you know, the white boxing media. They needed something to body to cheer for. Okay, hold on. All right. Right. Um, this one dude by the name of, I'm reading the chat. This one dude by the name of Bruce Vane, he is a diehard Crawford lover. 
but he also was he also mentioned the fact that Canelo is really not good for boxing. And I watched that video and he made some valid points. You know, you know, boxing don't need Canelo. Canelo is just raping everybody financially. So agreed, Jordan's ex-bishop. Canelo is the most overrated superstar in boxing. 